I'm Jan with Jan Paddock Quilts and I do needle turn applique and today we're going to play with turkeys. My granddaughter loves turkeys. She has had a pet turkey named Turkey Cirky for years and on Thanksgiving she always counts that as Turkey Cirky's birthday and gives her extra treats and nobody gets to mention what we're having for dinner out in the chicken yard when the turkey's around because she doesn't want her to get scared. <laughs> anyway, we love turkeys at our house. We only have two pet ones. We don't raise them for food. Oh my, not with Zoe around. Okay, but this is the Dresden turkey that was developed quite a few, a couple, three years ago by Jenny Doan and I. And I have used it in this, I think, darling little mini quilt. We've also used it in Flock Party, which was named by Zoe. She named it Turkey Party, I named it Flock Party. And then in the Four Pumpkins, a turkey and some geese, a little wall hanging that goes with it. So we are really set for this fall and for Thanksgiving. And what I thought I'd show you to do applique wise today is the feet because every time I make this thing somebody says oh those feet okay now we need to draw our feet and really I'd use a pencil but I forgot to bring it so the pink one will work fine because you can see it. I really like this pink pencil. They, I think they have the sew line in the regular lead and I may go ahead and get one because it's a lot easier to keep, tr these pencils are a lot easier to keep tr track of in my house. My grandson doesn't bother them to borrow them to do his homework or the grandchildren don't borrow them to draw pictures. Okay, now I tend to pull that off and you just eyeball. Now when you get down to the actual toes, don't cut in there right now. Cut them out. Now th that didn't sound right. You don't want to cut them out. You want to cut around the whole thing. Because the only problem you really have with them is when you cut up in there it's easy for them to fray. All right. Now, actually, I would have gotten two feet out of that if I'd been doing it. We'll save our little pattern because we'll probably use it later. And we'll flip this over so we have a... Okay. Now, we're going to sew him on here. And we're going to get our thimble and take the needle out of our mouth so we people can hear what we're saying. That would be nice. If I was doing this on the block with the turkey, the first thing I would do would be to baste under these edges at the top. And if you can, try to remember to keep your knot on the outside so you can pull it out. Now, you've got that basted under because, come back here you, there, pull it tight. We're gonna get this out of the way for a second. Now, now that I've got two of them, what I would do is sew them on here. In other words, I, this would be basted under. As I go ahead to sew the circle on, I have the two feet here 
and they're where they belong on the block. All right, now you go sew this down on top of them, okay? But that's not the hard part. That was pretty easy. <laughs> the hard part are these guys down here. So that's what we're going to do today. And I'm not going to do it on that block because I'd have to. That It's not any harder to do it on the block than it is here. I just have to have the rest of that done, and I don't. Okay. Starting up here, and I'm not going to because that's not the hard part. I'm going to start about halfway down. Did I knot that? No, I didn't knot that. The first thing you need to do is knot your thread. Okay. And even if it's on here, you come out from underneath it. Put your thimble on and do your regular applique stitch which comes from behind at an angle about a fourth of an inch or an eighth of an inch really not a fourth of an inch and just turn on your line and quite truthfully even with these cute little toes once you've drawn this thing it's really kind of relaxing I'm working on flowers on my next fabric line in there. Kind of these really unique lilies. And I'm having to take teensy, teensy, tiny little stitches. So it's not quite as relaxing. But it still is. And I really like the way the flowers look afterwards. Okay. But that's the next fabric line. We're still on this fabric line. When you design fabric, you live kind of a schizophrenic life. You're, you're working with this one, but you're working with the next one, and then you've designed the one after that, and it's over in Korea being printed. You get lost. Okay, now, we're to the points. And once we get to a point, we need to start trimming. But I didn't want to cut that until we did, because, like I said, it frays so easily. Okay, now we're down. We've got that toe to the point. And we're going to start trimming as we go around. And about here, I'm going to take that out. So we've got that. Now, now it kind of looks like a toe. And then I will take this. And so it under. And then I'll, sometimes you almost have to do it stitch by stitch. And I'll cut a little further than that next time. You go up to here. Because see, you end up with very little, little fabric on both sides. Because the toes are... Sometimes my toes get a little skinnier than they're drawn. I will tell you that. And tuck that under. Okay, so we've got that tucked under and then we tuck this under with our needle. Heavens to Betsy, it's called needle turn. Okay. Now, back to making little teeny stitches. See that's starting to kind of fray, but it won't get very far. because we'll tuck it under. Okay. Now we'll lay that down, take our scissors, and stitch up to the point, or cut up to the point. Okay. And then we'll turn that under all the way to the point because then we can take our needle and turn it under. Okay. I kind of, that 
that one's kind of fat there. That's okay. Turkey toes don't have to be all even. And when you get to the point, do a double stitch there because that's going to have to bind it when we pull it back out. Okay, now we're going to pull it back out. And we will turn under that side. There. I got a little bump in that side. Maybe he's got arthritis in that toe. You never know. <laughs> but that's okay. Nobody's going to notice. And, and that is the thing about primitive quilting lady. I mean, if you get a little bump there, which basically I will tell you, I get a little OCD. What I would probably do is go back and no, I wouldn't. Those stitches are fine. He's fine. Okay. If it is to the point where I don't like it, what I will do is clip it on the back and then start sewing here and do double stitches and fix it so it's even. But I don't think that's bad enough to make me want to do that. And you realize, of course, ladies, these guys don't have to be perfect because they're turkey feet. And I don't know if you've ever seen turkey feet, but turkey feet are not smooth and pretty. They look like turkey feet. Okay, I'm not going to go ahead and do that. We've already got that done. But you get the idea. You just cut and clip and put it under until you get feet. You see on there, those feet aren't real, real, real neat and tidy. But they look like turkey feet. Okay, to recap, what we've done today to make our turkey block for our mini quilt, for the big flock party, or for the wall hanging, for anything, is you make the turkey feathers using the Dresden tool, make the circle the same way we always do, and then we've concentrated on doing these really yucky little fingers on turkey feet. So we hope you've enjoyed this tutorial from Jan Patty Quilts. If you have, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks, and have a good day.